Interns who come to the Smithsonian National Zoo's Conservation and Research Center have a unique opportunity to train at one of the world's premier wildlife and ecosystem science centers, side by side with conservation scientists and animal care staff. Based on over 3,000 acres adjacent to the Shenandoah National Park in Front Royal, Virginia, the Conservation and Research Center is home to some of the world's most endangered species, many of which are extinct in the wild or are threatened by habitat loss, human population growth, disease and pollution, and climate change. Unlike a traditional zoo, which may have over 300 or 400 species and a priority for conservation education, the Conservation and Research Center is not normally open to the public and has a focus on research and breeding of a small number of species, only 30 to 40 birds, mammals, or amphibians, selected because there is some critical need to understand their basic biology, health, or reproduction, or to tease apart the often complex reasons for the decline in the wild. Interns who come to the Conservation and Research Center live on campus with other students and trainees and develop a network of connections to other students and scientists from across the diversity of conservation professions. In the Department of Reproductive Sciences, interns get the chance to hone their skills with hands-on training in the lab, using hormones to document the biology of little-known species, preserving gametes and genetic material, and develop husbandry techniques to improve breeding and population management strategies. Hi, my name is Kristen and I'm from Yorktown, Virginia and I go to George Mason. My name is Megan Brown. I just completed my junior year at Delaware Valley College and I'm majoring in zoo science. My name is Jess Brown. I'm a senior at University of Maryland. Uh, I'm a pre-vet animal science major. I'm Jennifer Nagashima. I am a recent graduate of Cornell University, an animal science major, and I'm from Palm Springs, California. I wanted to work in reproduction and this is one of the best facilities that do research and reproduction, so this was the place to come to do an internship. I've always been interested in conservation. Uh, when I was a little kid, I watched this Animal Planet show on tigers, and it got me really interested in uh, conserving species. And when I was at Cornell, actually one of the scientists from here came and visited and did a speech on animal conservation, and after that I got interested in the CRC, or Conservation Research Center, and so I applied for I'm working on a project with uh, an endangered species called the Eld Steer from Southeast Asia, and we're doing different post-thaw um, processing techniques to try and improve the success of artificial insemination by um, getting more viable sperm in the samples. I've been working on cheetah reproductive endocrinology um, work this summer. I've been looking at uh, female cheetahs' reproductive hormones and how uh, glucocorticoids and stress hormones impact them. Um, I'm working on a couple different projects. My main project is with dog oocytes, with dog eggs. Um, working with kind of a precursor to cryopreservation, whether it's better to isolate them as oocytes or follicles from the ovary. I'm currently working on the African Lion Reproductive Biology Project, and especially in female lions, uh, measuring Pro, uh, like hormone levels in progesterone and cortisol, and seeing like when they hit puberty and if they're in estrus. And well, it's giving me experience in a lab setting, so I can leave here and basically work in a lab if I wanted to. Um, I have that experience. Um, I'm also getting experience outside the lab, working with a bunch of different species, bunch of different experiences, and it's good for networking. I'm meeting a lot of people and just learning a lot and kind of pointing me in the directions. I'm not sure where I, where I want to go quite yet, but I'm getting more and more ideas. Well, right now I'm in between uh, deciding if I want to go to vet school or if I want to apply to a master's program and do something in this field. So actually this is giving me a much better understanding of what it would be like to go in the conservation research route and it's making me lean more toward that. So this is a good experience and I'm learning lab techniques that I would really be able to use anywhere. So One thing I really like about um, being down here is I didn't really want to go into lab work before I came down here. I wanted to be more of a field veterinarian and now I've found that I really do love this kind of lab work and want to look into doing a, a dual PhD and DVM program and kind of change to where I'm heading with my schooling. And I really loved learning about it and I love making a difference uh, and working with conservation 
stuff instead of just working with uh, livestock. A lot of the great researchers work here or are affiliated here and when you put the name National Zoo CRC out, everybody knows what you're talking about. So people get to know your name so you have references and you have people that you can go talk to about questions that you have with any different thing. They know all about animals, all about research. So the networking, like I said, is amazing at the CRC. All the scientists that you meet, um, people that you only have ever read about in papers before, and you reference them so many times in school and you actually get to meet them. It's amazing. It's a lot of fun. I love animals, so it's great to be working here and I'm meeting a bunch of people that I didn't realize were out there that think the same way that I do, that love animals as much as I do, and we sit down and we talk in scientific names and discuss all kinds of fun things. We go line dancing and play volleyball and visit Washington DC and Virginia Tech, and it's really cool to just hang out with a lot of other really smart, um, really focused people who like the same things I do. Uh, we also went to the zoo and did a tour there and got to see some of the stuff behind the scenes and got to cut bamboo for the giant pandas. Well, I've been learning a lot. I feel like this is one of the few places where I've encountered where everyone is very willing to help you learn and teach you pretty much anything that you're, you want to. So I haven't run into that many places like that before and it's really awesome. And I'm making a lot of friends and contacts and I think a couple of us were eating ice cream the other night and talking about it, how we're really the next generation of scientists and we are the future contacts that we'll be having. So I guess networking sort of thing. Because everyone's working on different projects and has different uh, knowledge bases that I can kind of pick their brains about and so it's pretty pretty awesome.